The brand new iPad 2022 model, also known as the 10th Gen iPad, has been reported to get a new design and USB-C port added. A new report has just come in telling us that a new, bigger screen is coming this time round with a new design. There is also loads of other features I'd love to go over and also tell you the latest on the iPad 2022 release date and price. So, moving on. In 2022, we're expecting some new iPad models from Apple. As last year in 2021, most of the iPads got refreshed. So back in May time, we got the new iPad Pros. Then around September time, we got some new iPads. We got the new 9th gen iPad, and we also got the brand new design iPad mini. Then moving on into 2022 at the peak performance event, we just got the brand new iPad Air with a surprise of an M1 inside. All of these iPads are now amazing, but a lot of us are wondering what will be happening with the likes of, say, the budget line iPad in 2022, as this is Apple's most popular iPad that they sell at the moment. Well, one of the changes is the standard iPad may finally jump to having a USB-C port just like its more powerful iPad brothers. However, we're unsure if this will be just USB-C running at USB 3.2 or 3.1 speeds or even Thunderbolt. We've had a report coming from 9to5Mac who has claimed we are getting a new design with a larger 10.5 inch screen and USB-C being added amongst other features. The report to start with has the most logical update we're going to see is a brand new chipset inside the iPad 2022 model. Specifically, we believe the iPad will now get an A14 chipset that we saw in the likes of the 2020 iPad Air and of course the iPhone 12 models. One of the key facts about the A14 chipset, it's on a smaller 5 nanometer die and also that it's compatible with a Qualcomm 5G modem. This could mean that the budget iPad may finally get 5G capabilities at a great low price. And this completely makes sense because the lowest spec iPhone out there, the iPhone SE, also just got 5G capability. And this is the last kind of iPad to get 5G capability as well. Another change we could see is the design leaning more towards being a slimmer and also a slightly larger display on the actual surface of the iPad. So back in 2017, Apple did release a 10.5 inch iPad Pro for just one generation. But then in 2019, Apple took that design and applied it to the 2019 iPad Air third generation. Since then, this design has not been seen at all. But it's possibly that this 10.5 inch model display may be coming to the 10th generation iPad as the current 9th generation uses the old first generation generation iPad Air design that we got first introduced in 2013. The renders here, what you're seeing on this video, show what it could look like. And as you can see, the bezels are a little bit slimmer on the side and also on the top. We may also get some other improvements as well, like an improved rear camera lens and also a larger battery of the design over the current 9th generation iPad. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Now, if you are a regular viewer of mine, you probably heard me say this before, and this is to do with leaks being early, and to be honest, any leaks all the way up to the iPad's release date that I find and show to you guys. A lot of previous leaks from other Apple products have come true, but there are some that sometimes get misinterpreted based on the facts that the leakers have been told, and basically with this, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. So no leak or rumor is 100% true until we see the final iPad being shown off officially from Apple. However, if you are curious like me, you will listen to all these latest leaks and rumors, and we will have to wait and see what the official product looks like at the end. So, for release day, as already mentioned, every iPad has now been refreshed within the last 12 months or so, so now it's time to start that cycle again. So since the introduction of the iPad 7th generation that came out in 2019 with the design that we currently have, the 10.2 inch display design, a new iPad has come out towards the middle to end September every year. 
So for the seventh generation with the A10 Fusion chipset, it was released on September 25th in 2019. Then in 2020 with the eighth generation iPad with an A12 inside it, it was released on September 18th. Then last year in 2021 with the ninth gen with an A13 chipset inside it, it was released on September 24th. So you can imagine where the 10th generation iPad is going to come out. It is pointing towards the around the exact same time of mid-September to end September time. We're expecting Apple to have an event targeted towards mid-September time to announce this iPad and at this event it will most likely show other products like the iPhone 14 range and also the Apple Watch Series 8. Of course, if there's any more news on this event, I will basically tell you guys straight away in a video. So then guys, just recently, this channel just got over 400,000 subscribers and I did a giveaway for a MacBook Air M1 and if you want to see who the winner was for that MacBook Air 1, check out my other video on my channel where I announced who the winner is. But the great thing is guys, I am doing another giveaway on this channel and it is for this. This is for a 14 inch MacBook Pro and this is with an M1 Pro chipset inside it, the 8 core one with a 14 core GPU and a 500 112 gigabyte hard drive inside and I'm going to be giving this away now to one lucky subscriber when we get over 450,000 subscribers and to enter into this international giveaway all I need you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy or other technology gear in 2022 put it down in the comments below. And also guys, if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when we get over 450,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro and you won't want to miss out on that video. Now, something else just want to quickly say, sadly still on YouTube, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, some of them even impersonating myself, telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram you or other means as well, ignore them or please do report them. It would really, really help because we don't want scammers and spammers getting their way here on YouTube. Well guys, with that out of the way, let's return back to the video. So with those leaks and release out of the way, let's move on to a summary of everything we know so far that the previous leaks have painted the picture of the details for the new iPad 2022 model with its price as well. So as mentioned, the next generation iPad 10th generation model will have a new design and it's most likely it's pointing towards a 10.5 inch display, what is an LCD retina display and it has a resolution of 1224 by 1668 and this will be a 60 hertz refresh rate display. This is like I said the same display that we had in the iPad Pro 10.5 inch and also in the likes of the third generation iPad Air. For storage we will have the choice again between 64 to 256 gigabytes of storage options and there will also be that brand new A14 chipset inside it and for the first time 5G connectivity. For RAM wise we're expecting to be seeing 4 gigabytes of RAM inside this iPad and the actual body of this will be an aluminium body and we will also get the likes of Touch ID like we have had in many of the last iPads. There will be a single camera at the front will be a center stage one and then on the back we will also get a 12 megapixel camera there as well. The battery size will be an 8134 milliamp size and then the price starting out with the 64 gigabyte model it will start at 329 US dollars and then the 256 gigabyte model will start at 479 US dollars. So that is a summary of the new 2022 iPad. However, for my thoughts and wishes, my wishes actually do with the iPad 10th generation and it's to do with the port on the bottom and this to be changed to a USB-C port. I think as more and more Apple devices are now using USB-C ports and in fact, this is the only iPad at the moment that still uses lightning. I think it makes more sense for this iPad to have a USB-C port at the bottom so you can plug in other things like 
satellite storage devices and hubs and this would be more useful I think. But let me know your thoughts if you agree with this or not and write them in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the new iPad 10th generation. Well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like this video, and at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Bye bye.